What is up guys? This video was initially supposed to be uh, putting these new sensors in. I got, sorry the lighting's all dumb. I got my uh, four bar sensors here from Precision Waste Works. Got this nice little, little tab to go with it. Um, but, I just got the car towed home. Thankfully one of my supervisors just so happened to be driving by. But uh, my fuel rail popped off. It popped off on this injector and was spraying everywhere. So I'll give you a little backstory. Earlier today, well, coming back from the dyno actually, uh, it was the first time I had the AC on since I installed this turbo. I don't, I try not to use the AC much, and we were on the highway, and it, it gave me an underboost code. So I was kind of like concerned about it, cleared it, drove again, it came on again. I was like, well, the only, the only variable is that the AC is on. Like, why, why would that? So we turned the AC off, cleared the code, and drove home. The, you know, the, the rest of the 50 miles or whatever, just fine. So I was like, what the hell? Uh, started doing a little research, couldn't really find much, and the only thing I could I could really think of is that the wastegate is wasn't was just a slightly too loose, like just not enough voltage. Um, so today I tightened up the wastegate ever so slightly. I put it to what, 3.618, and it was at 355, so like half a volt, um, and went out. A lightning though. I seen it too. That was crazy. Um, but anyway, I went out to go do some test runs, make sure that this wastegate issue was eradicated. Because um, I got the, I got my new tune is ready for the four bar, and the, the sensors are here. So I go out to do some test pulls. I did one with like the AC on minimum, it did fine. Did another one at like two, it did fine. I did another pull with it at full blast, and then it kind of like did. It was at like 6,000 RPMs. It like cut. I thought it was like boost cut or something. I was like, what the hell? And I started smelling fuel. I was like, what the hell? I was like, I smell fuel. So I was like, oh shit. So I go to pull in the, uh, you know, one of the driveways on that road and the car shut off. Um, popped the hood and it's just spraying fuel everywhere. So uh, I had my boy Jesse uh, take the car, it, or grab my tools, come out there. Uh, I pulled the rail off. One of the O-rings were kind of messed up. And it, this, uh, we're, the, the nut certs for this are already kind of goofy, like it's not very good. So then we left, came back, grabbed O-rings, went back out there, and I was trying to like readjust where this goes in. Right here, you can see I got, I got JB weld around it. It's been holding for, you know, however thousand miles, couple thousand miles since it's been installed, and it just broke, I guess, or the heat, I don't know what it was. But uh, yeah, so here we are. Got, got just got towed home, so I'm gonna pull the manifold off because I dropped the bolt behind the manifold. Fun stuff. This happened to me before, but now with the manifold off, I'll be able to get this fuel rail set just perfectly. Um, yeah, so that's what this video is gonna be. So bear with me. I'll make a separate video for the uh, the map sensors. I guess I only have like two hours until I gotta get ready for work, so I'm gonna get it as far as I can now. But uh, first things first, I'm going to pop off the intake here and then uh, undo the fuel rail at the high pressure side, pull this out of the way, uh, start unplugging things, and uh, yeah, I already got some of the connectors undone down here, but it's really, getting this manifold off isn't that bad of a job, maybe like 20, 30 minutes, and then I'm going to sit here and try and figure out how I'm going to doctor up this manifold. The type of weather I'm dealing with right now. Sunny as shit and raining like hell. You got Jesse's head in here. So right now, uh, pull the fuel rail out of the way, cover up with the bag, keep stuff out of the rail. Uh, just unplug the whole loom for the all the injectors and sensors and stuff. You got one, one right down here, another one down in there, and then all of those, and then the E85 sensor. Uh, next up, you got all of these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these T whatever, I think they're T27 or T30s. Um, I have to undo the uh, boost tap here. And you got these two connectors plus this connector. Um, and then there's a vacuum hose right there that needs to come off. And then this little vacuum hose right here needs to come off. 
Uh, then you got this one and this one here on the side. Then you'll unscrew this. This screws into the manifold. And then once you get this off and undo your coupler and the connector for the throttle body, the whole thing just kind of wiggles itself out. So I'll try and go over it the best as I can. Um, I'm kind of in a rush right now. I said I got to be at work in like two hours, and I'd like, I mean, this, this part by itself isn't really that bad, but um, I'd like to get this manifold doctored up, whatever I can, so we can cure overnight or whatever. Uh, Jesse's girlfriend is going to let me use her, her Jetta tonight to go to work. So, damn, this kind of sucks. Kind of really sucks. I'm hungry. I've yet to eat today. I was like literally about to go grocery shopping so I can make food. Okay, so you got these top ones here. They're easy to get to. But the, one, the bottom ones, you have to go through this hole in the manifold, and it's kind of a pain in the ass if you don't have a really long quarter inch extension. So using the step down onto your uh, quarter inch is what we're using here. And then you got down in, see if I can even get this to see it. I pulled it out it's, a little bit. It's down in there, but the bottom one on, on either side is kind of a pain. Yeah, to get to, but they're not too bad. And once you get those 10 out, like I said, you got this one. You got this one. You got that one. Um, if you got a boost tap, take that off. This little this little guy. And don't forget to do your throttle body stuff. Um, let me say, it really ain't that bad. Once you've done it once, it's it's super simple. You got like 15 bolts and it's out. So, cam. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Having a set of mechanical claws for this job makes it so much better. I'm getting this manifold off in like half the time because I don't have to like try and dig for bolts. So definitely invest in one of these if you don't have one. They're very, very convenient. So uh, for this, it's kind of weird. There is a 13 mil nut on the bottom of this right there. You can see the post and then you twist this guy. It threads into the manifold and it'll start raising itself and then eventually once it, all the threads are out you should be able to pull it out if I recall correctly yeah pull this baby off throw it in your pocket and getting this out is kind of uh, a pain like every because there's so much shit on this side of the motor um, everything kind of gets caught up but You'll wiggle and jiggle, and you'll probably find connections that you missed and forgot to tell the camera. What? I don't remember that. Oh, okay. So there's one more guy right here. Yep. Anyway, right there. All right, there's one more bolt on the side of the manifold. Don't forget that one. It'll give you a lot of questions about life. Make sure you don't drop things into your uh, your head here. I didn't intentionally do this. It's just a dead bug. And I think it's gone now. Damn it. Damn it. Well, there's a wing of it. Uh, you can see, if you guys remember how my valves looked prior, it's not very easy to get light to show on the camera here. But uh, they look a lot better than what they used to. That's for sure. I'll get a better view here. Let's see. Holy crap. After like 20 minutes of searching, then pizza finally showed up. Funny story, pizza. I called Pizza Hut to order pizza, because obviously I can't drive anywhere to go get my groceries or anything. I called, and like as I was about to give them my card info, the phone cut off, and then they hung up. I was like, what the hell? Tried to call back again, same thing happened again. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna order my pizza online. Order my pizza online, I'm out here, searching for this bolt, another 10, 15 minutes. At this point, I'm at like, you know, I don't know how much time I'm looking for this damn bolt from the top. Pizza lady rolls up, and she's and I was like, you know, I did a card online. She's like, well, here it says it's cash. I was like, well, I don't have cash. I don't understand. So I go to call Pizza Hut and see what's up. As I'm calling them, and a truck rolls up with the Pizza Hut thing on top. So I, my order went in twice. I don't know why the dude still put my order in. If I said I was paying for a card, and I was literally about to give him my card number. Um, so I get two pizzas of the same thing at pretty much the exact same time. I'm already on the phone with the manager trying to figure out what's going on. So then she just gave me the extra pizza for free. But I still kind of feel like shit because I didn't have cash to give the girl, who oddly has the same name as my sister, 
Um, and they're both really dark. No, <laughs> really dark girls. And I didn't have enough. I, I, well, I didn't have any cash to give her money. Kind of feel like a dick. But it's not my fault. Anyway, so I got two pizzas for the price of one. Anyway, so I was like, well, I can't find this bolt from the top. Maybe I'll get under the bottom. Maybe it's like jamming the belly pan. I was like hitting the belly pan trying to hear if it would be bouncing around or whatever. I was like, you know what? And I'll see where this, this other map sensor goes because I've never looked for it myself. But I found the bolt. It's jammed up like behind the freaking water pump. You see what I can show you guys here. Oh, yeah, right there. You can see it. See the bolt right there? There it is, jammed behind the freaking water pump. So I'm going to grab my mechanical claws, try and grab it and pull it out of the side. Um, at this point, I'm at like an hour for looking for this damn bolt. And I still got to fix my manifold somehow. Um, yeah, exciting. But there she is. Y'all are going to have to take my word for it since I can't get the camera to focus and the lighting right. Um, but the MPI is definitely cleaning up the valves quite a bit. Um, you can see that one's still kind of black on the bottom. This one you can see more of the brownish color, like on the block. Um, it looks a lot better. I'm definitely, definitely happy with uh, with seeing that. All right, so don't don't flame me. This is only a temporary fix since it's what Thursday morning. This video is supposed to be out today, so I guess it'll be out tomorrow, Friday. Um, but there's this big roll race event Saturday, $750 pot for my class, and I need to make it. I don't have time to buy another manifold, otherwise I would. Um, as soon as a Euro manifold pops up or something, I'm going to cop it. Um, it. At this point, it only takes me like 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes at max to get this manifold off. Um, I'll just swap the throttle body over, drill out the new holes if I need to, and another manifold, whatever. But uh, It'll come, but for now, got to find a way. So, I uh, I re-melted the nut cert in there, and I just stacked this baby with JB Weld. <laughs> uh, I'm just hoping it'll sit. I stuck a, a bolt that the threads fit. It's not very long, but, and I just, I caked it, and I got it all up around. Dang it. I got it all up around the lip here, so if it tries to pull itself out, uh, it, it'll have a, a harder time. It's kind of like cracked along the back here, so I really caked it on there. But uh, hopefully this works. Uh, as a backup, I took some some safety wire here. You see this safety wire? So I'm gonna route the safety wire up around. The manifold when the manifold goes on and then wrap that around the fuel rail to help pull it down uh, that should help a lot this is nice and sturdy down here this whole thing is just I mean it's not going anywhere at all so hopefully I can I can do that and I'll cinch it on there real tight that should also help uh, this bolt I have to take so much shit but uh, I need a car to run for this weekend I want to race like I said so temporary fix I'm a little upset it's not Precision Raceworks fault, don't blame them. I mean, it is, they could have came up with, like there's other companies that have fuel rails out that have these types of nut certs, but the nut certs have like threads on the outside. So it's not just gonna pull it. This one's like, it's called knurling, um, which which is okay. But I think it'd be better if it had like some threads or some barbs or something that would prevent itself from pulling out once it's in. But uh, the main issue is like when I first did it, it wasn't straight. So, yeah, you, you know, you got two bolts that hold the, the fuel rail in. One was straight, one was kind of crooked. So when you try to put the, the, the rail on, it wouldn't sit right. And so I had to, like, remelt or get the, a bolt real hot, thread it in, and kind of remelt it. Well, I messed it all up. I, had to do, I wound up doing it, like, three times. And then it wound up holding there for a long time. I don't understand why yesterday it did that. Maybe because I adjusted the race gate and... Then it saw more fuel pressure, because, I, but it wasn't seeing any more boost than it ever did. So I'm thinking that because of the load on the motor, since I was running the AC full blast, I don't know. But I'll never do that shit again. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. It's like 6.30 in the morning. I'm about to go to bed. I'm going to take a shower, go to bed. Hopefully when I get up, this will be nice and cured. I'll probably slap a little extra JB weld around some of the spots, just in case. And then I'll slap it on. Um, yeah, do the safety wire trick. Hopefully this works. Like I said, don't flame me for being ghetto. I'm in a tight spot. 
I don't live in an area where there's a, a deal, the nearest dealership's like an hour and a half away in both cities. Um, you know, my boy Victor, his extra manifold got broken, or is broken, so I don't really have much of an option. And this is my only car. Like my boy Jesse, his girlfriend stayed the night, and I work nights since so she let me use her car to go to work, but she doesn't stay here every night. So I got lucky. This is my only car. Another reason I need a daily. Um, I've been looking to try and maybe get a truck, but yeah, kind of shitty situation right now. But hopefully this fixes it at least for like a week or two until I can source another manifold. If you guys know of any Euro manifolds, any of you guys, any of my Canadian friends or whatever, if you guys see one pop up, send it to me on Instagram, tag me on Facebook, whatever. I want it. I want a Euro manifold that already has the nut certs in and the shit already drilled and I can take this out front and smash it to freaking pieces since it angered me so much. But, um, yeah. I'll see you guys in the afternoon. Here's another look at my ugly duckling. <laughs> Uh, it's nice and cured now, everything's real hard. So I'm going to test fit the rail one more time, make sure everything sits right, feels good. Then I'm going to throw it on. Um, yeah, wish me luck. Hopefully this, this gets done today. Uh, I want to put these sensors in. I need to make sure this works and doesn't pop off before I flash the new tune and put things on. I don't want too many things going on at once, so fingers crossed. We got a little test fit action going on here, as you can see. If it wants to focus, everything is sitting real nice. Um, torqued it down a little bit. I didn't torque it down all the way because I don't want to risk if it only can torque once and hold it. But uh, whatever, it's in, it holds, it sits, it fits. So we're gonna install the manifold. Uh, Put everything back together, go out for some test runs, make sure everything's good to go. Then we'll come back, switch out map sensors, update the tune, and then go out for more test runs. Fingers crossed, so hard that this all works. Sorry my shirt's off. It is like 97 degrees today, and I'm not trying to stand here with the, with the sun on my back roasting. So, yeah, I'm excited. Get this shit done, car back to normal. Oh, car's running. Took it around and block a few times, warming the oil up. Uh, seems to be okay so far. I didn't really get in the boost. Hit like 2 PSI. Uh, I did go right up to like 4,000. Uh, the port injection kicks on at like 3,200 or something, but uh, there's always pressure in the rail because it goes through that rail before it goes to the high pressure fuel pump. Um, not really going to know until we go out and do some watt pulls. I'm scared. Nervous. I'm gonna be paranoid about this. I'm gonna be driving with the windows down all the time, with my nose searching for the scent of fuel. Um, she's back together. It's running. It's holding so far. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go now for an extended drive. That was just around the, the neighborhood, literally. So, so far, so good. It sucks that this happened, but at least it happened now and not out of town or at the track this weekend or something so I mean whatever I'd rather it not happen ever but at least it happened here so there's that so I'm trying to keep this video semi short I know you guys just love how much I talk but so we went out for that test drive earlier was not good it popped right off as soon as I hit more than 20 pounds of boost it popped off we wound up having to push my car like a block and a half to the house it was not a good time so, my boy Victor has an all track and his car's down. Uh, it'll be super sick. He's doing like a Mark 7.5 conversion on it. Did all this stuff. You ought to have seen the car. I should have took the camera over there. But he offered uh, to let me get his manifold. So we pulled his manifold off that car. Uh, just put in the CTS nut certs that are way different than the other ones. I wish I would have been able to show you the difference. But these ones actually have like barbed on it so they, they literally like can't pull out without totally destroying the plastic and then we uh, fitted his CTS uh, kit to make sure that everything fit and was snug so I'm about to clean this baby out because there's a bunch of shavings in it since we had the drill for the port injector stuff um, yeah so 
He's lending me his. I just bought a new manifold that already has the fittings in it from a dude in Europe. So that'll be here next week. And then Frank from Mabo, my tuner, my sponsor, he has a billet manifold that's in prototype phase that he's sending me next week, he says. So um, I'll have potentially two new manifolds next week. I'll give this one back to Victor. And depending on which manifold shows up first, I'll, uh, I'll be putting that in. So hopefully we'll be looking forward to a billet manifold here soon. So that's super freaking cool. I would like to get it like anodized blue, like the fuel rail. Um, yeah, so it's three in the morning, um, Thursday or three in the morning, Friday. Uh, my supervisor actually let me off work early, which was super sweet. And he was the one that towed my car home Wednesday when shit happened. Anyway, so we got this, we're gonna install this, put the new map sensors on, throw the new tune on, go test, go log. Um, I'm not going to vlog until this is all done because there's no point. I need to get to work. Just cracked a beer. I said it's three in the morning. Just had a Red Bull, so here we go. This will be this will be fun. Hopefully, it won't take me more than an hour, but we'll see. <laughs> well, 5:30 in the morning, Friday, which you guys should be watching this video today. Sun's coming up, and the car is ready to be flashed. I haven't turned the car on yet. Literally just got done. Just took it off the jack stand. Just put in the, the the new map sensor on the throttle pipe down there. Once you just you just take off the belly pan, like all nine screws, and you'll see it there on the throttle pipe. It's two T20s. You pull it out. You replace it. Easy. This one you have to you take out this little guy. You replace it. It's got a jumper harness. I cut coated mine in black electrical tape because I didn't like all the individual wires showing. Um, you pop this on, you might have to dremel, there's like a little uh, post here, you just dremel it off or cut it, whatever. Uh, it's nice and blue, matches, matches this. And I said about Frank and his billet manifold, um, I'd like to anodize it the same color as that, I think it'd be dope, AF. But yeah, there's that. I'm going to go inside, wash my hands, grab the laptop, flash the 4 bar map, um, file. Since this is my buddy's manifold, uh, he doesn't want me to use or to tap it for my boost gauge, so I'm not going to have boost for this weekend. I uh, guess I'll be doing a lot of live logging or whatever, um, which means I'm going to have to make sure I bring my laptop cable. I usually don't bring my laptop cable with me places, but this laptop is super powerful and it uses a lot of battery. Anyway, I'm ranting again. Um, wash up, grab that, tune it go for a drive hope all was well like i tightened this manifold more than i've ever tightened that other manifold by a lot like this bitch holds like the cts and i'm not the biggest fan of cts but the and it's not even there technically you know they don't even make them they probably buy them from somewhere else but those you know these barbed fittings are like just threaded nut certs basically but it's a lot more than just shitty knurling that comes with the pr kit uh, they do, they do, they work, they work really well. I don't think this is going to pop off. I really don't at all. Normally I don't say things like that because I feel like I'm jinxing myself, but for real, for real, this shit's legit. So, that stuff's on. Uh, it's time to tune. Let's get her done. Well, good news. Everything worked out. Um, we're not pissing fuel everywhere now. Um, car feels good on the road. Went out and did a 25 PSI log and a 26 PSI log or 25 PSI setting and 26 PSI set, PSI setting logs for Frank. Um, I don't know what really he has to change for the map sensors, but um, we'll see what he says. I got some information for him, but thanks for watching, guys. I mean, that's all. That's all I got for now. I am beat. I need to go edit this. You guys are seeing this couple hours after after I do it I'm gonna here eat some food drink a beer I'm exhausted uh, this is a big weekend tomorrow's raw race event is gonna be huge There's gonna be tons of people tons of cars money to be won uh, street shenanigans afterwards I still I need to clean up all my tools here and load these into the car still um, yeah, I'm beat but thanks for watching my series of unfortunate events for the past couple days but uh Hopefully we make a comeback this weekend. Get some really good content for you guys. 
Oh yeah. All right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.